Kick. All right, it's 12 o'clock. Uh, call roll for a special meeting. Um. Am I doing right. that right? Yep. Yep, you are. I just had to. Uh... Cannot hear you. We lost you, Brenda. We cannot hear you. Brenda, you're, there's no sound. Can you hear me now? That came through. Helms. Yes. Lost you again. Let me call the roll. Um, Helms. Here. Clarkin. Here. Hecht. Johnson. Blair. Here. Black. Here. Grindy. Here. There is a quorum. Okay, and, and Justin did email me. Um, he's gone with his training today too for for his insurance stuff. So I do have an email to share once we get going here. Uh, new business consider consideration of forgivable loan program with standards for eligibility, forgiveness, and default with repayment requirements. The loan committee <clears throat> met last Thursday and went through in detail with input from legal counsel, uh, both here and from uh, Kennedy Graven in the Twin Cities to create a program that would meet legal muster. I see Tim Johnson has joined us. Is that you, Tim? Is that Tim? No, that's, that's you. you. That's, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, looking older all the time. It's been a long week, huh? Yeah, already. <laughs> Anyhow, this is Paul Gordy for, the, for everyone. Um, the parameters uh, for, re, for forgiveness revolve around two issues. One will be the staying in business. The other is employment. And you'll, the business will have to meet both parameters in order to have the loan forgiven. Uh, the report that I've given to the EDA contains a summary of the items that were discussed at the meeting. If anybody has any questions, the committee, I'm sure, would be glad to talk about them. But let me go through the eligibility criteria. The program is open to all businesses. Those businesses directly affected by Governor Walz's executive, executive orders 20-99 and 20-103 will be prioritized. The businesses shall be located within the city limits of the city of East Grand Forks. The entity shall be open for business and operating in the city of East Grand Forks. In other words, it can't be a business that's closed. And the application deadline will be January 29, 2021. General standards, the loan shall be forgiven provided the borrower conforms to the criteria established for the program. Failure to conform to the requirements of the program will result in default and require payback of the portion of the loan not forgiven. Upon default, repayment of the unforgiven portion of the loan shall be due immediately. No loan shall exceed $24,999. The total commitment of the EDA to this program is $260,000 as provided by the City Council. The loan shall be secured by a mortgage personal guarantee and such other collateral as is deemed appropriate by the EDA. The EDA reserves the right to approve or disapprove any loan and to determine the loan amount at its sole discretion. The applicant shall be current with all city obligations and property taxes. It means they have to pay their water and light bill and be current on that. <clears throat> In particular, licensing, etc. The criteria for forgiveness or default 
The factors for determining forgiveness shall be the duration of the time that the business remains in business and the number of people employed at the business. For one year, there must be 25% of the uh, employment, the peak 2019-2020 employment, you must have 25% of that peak employed. And for that, if, you, if you're in operation one year and meet the employment standard, the amount of the loan that will be forgiven is 60%. At the end of two years, you must have 30% of your FTE employment from that 2019-2020 peak, and it will be another 20% forgiven, to, so that will be a total of 80% forgiven. And at three years, you must have 35% of your 2019-2020 peak. There will be another 20% forgiven, which means that the loan will be 100% forgiven. The business shall remain in compliance with the executive orders issued by the governor. It shall be found in default if determined to be in noncompliance by an administrative or court decree. It's administrative law or court decree. Ron adds of competent jurisdiction, but we're dealing with attorneys, so we sometimes yes. wonder about competency. No problem. Okay. Um, the business shall remain in compliance with the eligibility criteria, general standards, and criteria for forgiveness slash default adopted for the program. The business, if the business climate or situation changes, the EDA can revisit the criteria for forgiveness. In other words, if they end up being shut down for another three years, we'll go back and look at it, okay? If there are any questions, there are members of the loan committee here, as well as myself, uh, would be glad to answer. Uh, if any of them would like to add anything, I will be quiet and let them do that. I sure hope they're not going to be closed down for another three years. I know. I'm just pointing out the program runs for three years, so therefore I thought I'd point that out. <laughs> And that was discussed in great detail in our last uh, loan committee meeting. I, I did not understand what you said, Josh. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry. I said that, and we discussed all that in our last loan committee. That's why those lines were put in there. Thank you. Um, I did, uh, from Justin Hecht, um, if you guys would like me to read the email, I sure can. Should we, uh, do we need to make a motion on it first, Josh? I don't think we need to make a motion. I, I just got his comments here that he emailed to me if everybody would like to hear them. Okay. What yep. I would ask that you do is email a copy to myself and to Brenda so we can enter them into the record, please. Sure, I can do that. Thank do you. you. Want, do you want me to read it now, too? Or? That's fine. Yes. Okay. It says, hi, Josh. Uh, he sent this to me yesterday afternoon at 1.40 p.m. Uh, as we spoke on the phone, I will not be able to make tomorrow's meeting, but if you would like to speak on my behalf the bo to the board, you can let them know I fully support the loan parameters recommendation recommended by the loan committee and hope to see it all pass and keep moving along to get the help to the businesses. Thank you. I move approval of the um, forgivable loan program, uh, uh, the parameters as established. And there is a resolution uh, that has been uh, submitted, and I would uh, ask that uh, <clears throat> that the motion be to adopt the resolution. Okay. Okay. I move approval. that we adopt the resolution. I'll second. Um, uh, concerning the forgivable loan program. That was Diane. Seconded by um, Daniel, Daniel Black. I will call the roll. Uh, let me, uh, Mr. P Mr. President, are you asking for any comments? Uh, no, no, I'm not. I think we've pretty got some pretty good concessions here already, and we're moving like it should be. Okay. If you're ready, I will call the I will call the roll because we can't hear Brenda. Well, no, you still come in and out, Brenda. Okay. So, uh, Johnson is not here. Black? Yes. Blair? Yes. Hecht is not here. Helms? Yes. 
Larkin? Yes. Grindy? Yes. I just want to thank those the guys that are on the loan committee for the work they did on this. This was um, very helpful, and thank you for all that time you put in. Thank you, Diane. You know, I'd like to do the same thing, too, because Thursday night we spent another couple hours on this, working yeah. on this to get it done. Uh, we had a lot of good discussion. Uh, we put a lot into it, and uh, we tried to make everything so, tried to make it a little more attractive, I guess is the way I'll put it. So, um, yeah, I think everybody everybody chipped in their two cents, and it went really good. So we have a good, pretty good loan committee there that can talk and hack things over pretty good. So, And I think you deal. accomplished exactly what you guys set out to do. I mean, yep. it, it really is. It's very, very easy to understand. Yep. And... Um, I think really well thought out. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. And this is a there, this is a defensible program too. Okay, so that was one of our re really strong concerns is to make sure that we had a program that we could survive challenge, and this is what we think we've accomplished. The other thing I want to thank you is for getting it done is because I did guarantee the I did promise the city that we would have it done in time for tonight's council meeting so <laughs> I know it doesn't have to go to them but it was a I just kind of told them that we'd be able to confident enough that we could get it all done so that's the other reason I'm I'm pretty happy it went real good so Mr. President may I make a comment I suppose <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I just want to mirror what's been said the uh, group worked hard uh, there was a uh, great discussion uh, the parameters that were set are uh, uh, <coughs> will pass legal uh, mustard, so to speak, when it comes to uh, requiring that the loan be for a public purpose and that it will satisfy the, uh, uh, in my opinion, the uh, the residents and the taxpayers that we uh, that the loan committee and the EDA has drafted this and tied it to some specific goals to go forward and at the same time to be able to help the business community get through uh, or get moving forward uh, <clears throat> from the closures. The other thing that I would just like the loan committee and the, uh, or not the loan committee, but the EDA and the public to know is that I do have all of the documents drafted and ready uh, so when the applications come in and they are uh, approved, we can uh, move forward immediately uh, with uh, the closing uh, as, as, I guess, as swiftly as possible. Uh, in addition, we will still have to make appointments and have the, the uh, businesses come in and, and sign the, uh, the documents. Thank you. And I have reviewed those documents, and I, I and I thank you, Ron, for having prepared them already. I appreciate that. The loan committee, I think, did an excellent job, and they're really good folks, and thinks they really consider things seriously. I so. also want to thank staff because I know this has not been easy in the last couple of months to get through all of this, and um, thank you for all the work you've put in, Paul, Ron, and Brenda. It's it's really appreciated. Thank you. The other thing you might want to mention too is that uh, this this uh, the deadline is the 29th, right, for this loan? So, yes, <laughs> remember everybody, it's the January 29th, and I hope to send out this information to people uh, today or or tomorrow at the latest, so it will go out and be in the hands of the businesses, so they can begin their applications. And Paul, if you need help from any of us to help these businesses because i know you're really up to your neck and everything right now uh please feel free to call myself even if you'd like thank you okay any other questions comments concerns i just have one idea um sure. with all of the work that the EDA has done and all of the support that the city and the state and the county have been able to put forth through our businesses. I'm wondering, would it be appropriate to maybe have the mayor 
do a letter to the editor kind of explaining what East Grand Forks has been doing because as I you know you look at Facebook and you as a you know a restaurant closes here that you hear well they should come to Grand Forks you know East Grand Forks isn't doing anything for them I'm wondering if if that would be a good step to, to see that you know um, we have been working and there's a lot of things going on out there I, just a thought I actually have on my agenda for today or tomorrow, and I will fit it around sending this out to put down the chronology of the things that have occurred and to go through all the programs that we are going through. But as a quick summary, one, the COVID loans that were approved earlier this year, all the businesses who have received those loans have ex accepted the, re the revised terms to defer their payments even further and defer the interest to 2022. So I have to follow up on finishing the paperwork and all of that, uh, and, but they have all approved it. I have the approvals in writing and I have the new amortization tables in writing as well. We are doing, uh, working with Ron to approve the loans that we approved earlier this month. Working with the county for the unincorporated areas, working with the county on the applications for grants that are coming from the county, that would come through us to the county. Uh, working on this program, trying to answer questions that come up on PPP and direct people to the right direction in there. Um, there's more that's going on too, and I can't remember everything because it's just there's a lot of stuff that's going on right now, and I appreciate all the support, and I ask for some patience sometimes mm -hmm. because I will I will get to you. I just can't do it. We're also getting inquiries about the Forks Builder House. Uh, you know they're building on a city lot this year rather than on the point, and I've been fielding questions on there and how to how to get that going, and uh, a lot of other things. Several questions on where, I, where how can people how people can buy lots, and so I'm getting them to the realtors to do things like that, and working with people to try to fill some of the empty spaces in town, some of the spaces that are COVID casualties. Uh, to get those spaces filled. And not all of them are COVID casualty. Some of them are corporate decisions, but uh, we're working on trying how to fill some of those things and some ideas for what we do after we're done dealing with COVID as well. Okay, So we're working on all of those things right now. And other than the settlement statements on these loan closures, I do have all the documents prepared for each of the loans that have been approved and potentially the documents for anybody that applies for this forgivable loan program. So I've got all of that ready. Um, so for once, there won't be a legal obstacle that's delaying the matters. You realize that he had a day yesterday when the courts were closed. <laughs> so we had time to work on things instead of dealing with court. And he kept sending me emails. Yeah, and, I, saw, and I, it, I saw the same thing and I was like, oh yeah, he's off today, out of court. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had to remind him I didn't have the materials with me that I would get back to him today with some of the answers he was looking for. So, but thank you. I was Anything gonna, else? I was just going to go ahead and I, dogpile a little bit here. Okay. Um, just because uh, I know the loan committee, I appreciate Ron being there. Appreciate you, Paul, coming in prepared. That was really great. Um, Karen, I, I appreciate all the comments that you made during the committee. Um, that, was, that was really awesome. Um, and I'm just saying with all the stuff that we've had going on on the EDA, um, with the timelines and everything, um, I think we've moved uh, as swiftly as we possibly can on this, um, and I appreciate all the hard work that everybody's done on it, um, from the loan committee, from the staff, from the board. Um, I really appreciate it. That's all. Thank you. I have one question, Mr. President. Yes, go, sir. This is uh, totally something different, okay. Um, we had a Heritage Board meeting last night. And uh, I had told them I would check. I didn't know what would happen, but is would the heritage qualify for either the county or city? Both are accepting applications from everybody. Okay. Now the ultimate decision will be at the EDA level, 
but both are accepting applications from everybody. Remember where the priorities are. Yep. That's all I say. And then okay. on the county matters, the county will be following through and making the uh, uh, approvals of any loan yes. application. We make a recommendation to the county. The county will approve it, but there are also the EDA has set priorities for that as well. So yep. they're, okay. they're open to all, but there are, are priorities for who gets the, the most funding on it. Right. Okay. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Anything else? Do we have a motion to I'll adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. Second. Horkin, move to adjourn. Blair, second. That was quick. Call roll, please. <laughs> no, don't just, have to. Just don't make to. a motion. I, I, don't I, do it. We're right. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Have a great day. Thanks, guys, Josh. Thanks. Thanks. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye now.